Welcome Retro Scale Modeling. This is part 11 of Harvey Potter's N1070 truck tractor with the M1000 heavy equipment transporter semi trail Scale is 1 to 35. In this part, I'm going to be um, putting all the little bits and pieces left on the truck um, from the mudguard to uh, some of the lenses and lights, brackets and so on. This is uh, almost the halfway point of the build as well, I should add. Um, the, there's a, there will be a little bit more to do on the truck down the line, but for the majority of it, the, the truck will be completed in, in this build. The next part of the process will be the trailer. So anyway, let's jump into this and see how well I get on. So to start off with, I'm going to change the wheel colours, as you can see. I'm going to put it back to the green. I've decided the silvery green look is just not working for me. Um, I didn't like it at first, but once I painted the camouflage, I thought, now I'm going to go back to the green. So uh, I'm using for this Rebel Aquacolor 360 Fan Green, which is obviously the main colour. So now that's done, it's uh, time to go back to the build. And I'm making up the um, mud, rear mud guards here. Now, the, these are a, a series of little full edge brackets with a metal spring as the um, location point for it. Sorry, not location point, as the bracket is going to hold it onto the model. It was quite tricky to um, connect, connect. It goes right onto the top edge of the full edge uh, part of the uh, bracket. So um, it's a bit precarious trying to balance it on into the cement um, cures. Then once it's on, I have to put a series of little uh, hinges that hold the spring in place. Um, again, these are very small 4 edge parts that have to be on. Now, you're meant to bend these um, before placing them on, but I found it easier just to put them on now while they're straight before the bending, and I'll bend them around to the contour of the unit once it's all dried. I think trying to bend them before placing them on would be an absolute nightmare. They were difficult enough to place on uh, just just like this. Um, they, they, they're so small they were slipping outside the, out of the tweezers as well. You know, it's, uh, it's one of the reasons why I hate full edge parts. There's also a series of little barracas that are going at the rear of the truck as well. Uh, and um, some uh, lights which I'm making up now. Now again, th th these are very small, so it's difficult uh, to pick them up with, with the camera. But it's essentially just a tiny little four edge parts uh, bent into a, a, a bracket. The the light is just a, a plastic uh, part with a clear lens going on top of it. So you'll be able to make out on the map hopefully how small these parts are. Now I did try zooming right in so you can see them, but uh, with my camera, it was just uh, too blurry, and um, th there was no point. So here, yeah, I've just put the uh, lens onto the photo edge bracket. So now it's onto the uh, spare wheel. Now this is a uh, built slightly different from the main wheels. Uh, as in, it hasn't got a half cap, it's just the inner core of the wheel, first of all. Just uh, two halves uh, placed together, and that then, of course, uh, gets um, put into the tyre itself. And mounting the wheel is uh, fairly simple, it just fits onto this bracket that you can see that I've just pushing on. There is a little notch there that makes it go uh, just one way, but it doesn't really matter which way it goes. So it's back to the rear mud guards, and all the um, glue is dried for this. I'm just going to bend over the um, brackets, and I'm using my tweezers just to hold the bond, just in case they spring off. Um, again, they're, they're so small, it could actually happen. Um, in fact, one did uh, pop off while I was doing this, but I just bent them around with my finger, as you can see there. Um, now, technically, they should have had uh, right angles, uh, making into a square box uh, for these, but I really found it just better just to fold them around with my finger. Uh, they're slightly curved instead of a square box, but um, I, I could live with that. Next is to put on the tiny little brackets that I made up, and this goes on at the uh, rear of the truck, you can see there. Uh, they're, they're so small, um, you know, it's difficult to see where exactly they go. There's no location points on there, so I, I just had to follow the pictures on the instruction. But I'm fairly confident I got them in the correct position. 
you bracket with the alignment slightly larger so that was easier to fit um, the photo edge part just conforms into the um, part itself so I'll just lift on there maybe you can make it out a little bit so they are diff quite difficult to see and once it's cement dry I'll, I'll repaint them the painting the mug guard is life color black and rubber one black QA734 now I wasn't sure whether these should be the green color um, whether it should be metal or rubber but um, in the end I went for, for the rubber look I may be wrong, I'm not sure, but I, I, I like the look, so I'll leave it that way. Next, I'm moving on to fitting all the little tow cables and uh, brackets that go onto. These are the little U-shaped spring brackets that they go on. Now, you can fit these without any cement um, if, if you want them moving. Um, I, I personally um, don't mind them being um, in a static position, so I, I do cement them uh, just in case they do pop off. Time to time, they will just drop off. So um, I think it's better just to um, cement them in. I'm also placing on some uh, handles as well as uh, the straps that hold the bonnet closed or the hood, uh, depending on what color you come from, um, to to the cab. Um, it's fairly straightforward. Each one has its own location point for these. There's just uh, one or two of uh, them to, to fit. It takes a little bit of time. Also, I have to be careful with my uh, cement placement. Um, it's something I don't generally go into a lot when I'm building, because as you can see, I painted them cement. Technically, you're not really meant to do that. Um, you're meant to take off the paint and that, but for these small parts, uh, I'll cement directly onto the paint. Uh, if it's got a nice enough location point, the paint will eat, uh, the cement will eat away at the paint um, slightly. But you, you have to be careful you don't put too much on or you will ruin your paintwork. Also that depends on what cement you're using as well of course. I use mostly Revell's uh, contract to cement which is uh, specifically designed for plastic model case and it welds the plastic together instead of just sticking two parts together. You know, each person has their own preferred uh, cement, that's, that's the one I use. So anyway, I'm digressing. Um, I'm still carrying on putting all these uh, little U tow cables on. There's, uh, I think there's four or five of them, six maybe, uh, that I'm placing on, just dotted around the um, sachet. Here I'm using Revlon Aquacolor 360 fan green once more, and I'm painting the, the brackets that are going to be holding the mud guards on. So it's just a little bit of paint right along the top of the bracket, and then um, onto the main part of the bracket itself. This is secured with uh, super glue. There's no any location point uh, such for these. It just sits in between the beam. The, there's um, a little ridge that runs right along it and it goes in between there. It's a bit difficult to actually get it in position because of that. So that's everything on for this part of, of the build, the actual truck itself. Um, all that's left to do now is uh, to retouch up some of the paint and paint the clear parts. So for the security hazard lights, I'm using Revel Aquacolor 730 Clear Orange and I'll also be using that for some of the side lights uh, as well. There's a few to do and it's better to do this at, at the end uh, also because they can easily uh, get to stop when, when you're building and it doesn't take much to paint them even though the clear paint can be notoriously difficult uh, to use because the, the areas are so small it doesn't actually um, matter how, how well the coat goes on, maybe one, two coats is all that you'll need because one, they're small, two, they are the um, long clear lenses and it sort of helps bounce the colour around the unit. For the um, other colours or, or on the truck for the clear parts, it's going to be the red colour. Um, so for that, I'm going to be using Revel Aquacolor 731 Clear Red. Um, and again, I'm just going to go around the truck and uh, paint the various colours in. So this is where I'll end part 11. As I said, I'm just going to go around now, touch up any little bits of paintwork that needed to be, to be touching up before going on to the next part. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you nip over the channel and have a look to see if there's something else that you would be interested in. If there's nothing there, give me a shout and then maybe I'll uh, do something about that. Um, suggest a build. Um, if I can, I'll, I'll have a go at it. 
subscribe to the channel and if you do so um thank you and please hit the notification bell that way you'll be kept up to date not only for this build because there's still a lot more to come and all my future builds as well of course hit the like button don't be afraid to leave a comment and of course you can share the video but for now thank you all very much for watching bye bye